Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. So this is a pretty easy one, but I know people could still use some help on some of these easy tasks, especially if it's your first time mixing quick set. So uh, today, yeah, we are mixing quick set. So what you're gonna wanna have is a bucket of nice clean water, ideally not well water. You want it to be pretty clean because whatever weird chemicals might be in, you know, different types of water, they can make your quick set either delay or kick off faster. So you want some nice clean water. I like to have a metal pan and I got this nice one with a grip. I'll try and find that and link it in the description if you're interested. These are my favorite. Um, it stops it from feeling so cold and it doesn't slip out of your hand as easy. I like to have a brush handy, a bristle brush. One that preferably doesn't degrade and you know turn into flakies in your water, so plastic. And I'm going to bring you guys up a little closer and show you how I do this. Okay, one of the biggest problems people have is not mixing the right amount. And there's no magic answer for this. Uh, experience will tell you how much mud you need, but you're better off to mix a little bit too much than not enough. Because especially if you're working on a schedule, you don't want to have to go and mix another batch and wait for it to set. Like I'm taping and I want all of this to set in the 20 minutes so I can get on to the next coat, not delay the whole thing another 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm just simply going to get a bunch of water from here. You always want to start with water in the pan. I'm also going to be going for like a full mix here. Really full pan because I need the whole thing full. So with that much, I may need to add a little bit more water after, but that should be good to get the job done that I gotta get done. And then I just start by gently pushing it around like this. And so yes, I was right. I do need more water in here. I can feel it. So I'm gonna just take my brush and I like to just add a little bit of water as I need it. And because I have experience, I know how much water it's going to need, but what I would say to you is err on the side of adding too little each time because you can always add more water, but you can't take it out of it. It's not advisable to add more quick set into your mix. If you're doing it within the first couple of minutes, no problem. But if you're doing it like 10 minutes later, then you might start to get some abnormal setting. I know I need a little more there. Because this is so full, I can't really dig in there yet, and because it's still full of water. So right now, I'm really just dispersing it. And if you get the sense that you might have too much water, you can always pour a little bit off into your bucket. Another thing that's important about quick sets is when doing consecutive batches, you wanna keep your tools really clean. And if you want to get exact consistent set times, you're going to want to have clean water every time. I, on the other hand, often like to speed up each consecutive batch. So I'll keep the dirty water and mix my next batch with the dirty water. But as you can see, now that the water is getting mixed in, I'm starting to just go into the bottom and turn it over here. So I'll get right in there. I'm just carefully turning it over and I'm trying to get all that wet material from the bottom onto the top and all the dry material from the bottom onto the top. Now I'm switching to the other side because there's a bunch of dry lumpy stuff on this side. And I do need a little more water because for what I want, I want it really wet. I'm taping paper tape by hand. So I wanna have it pretty runny. So this is would be nice for coating. And it doesn't matter that there's these lumps. You can spend a long time trying to get the lumps out, but your material is slowly setting on you. As soon as you put the water in, the chemical reaction is starting. But I know this needs a little more water. Again, I don't need all the lumps mixed out. I just need it to be, you know, not, <laughs> not dry clumps. I need no dry clumps because as I start to work with it on the wall, it'll get mixed in and smoother. For me, it's all about time. This is 20 minute. And on that note, this is mixed enough, even though there's a little bit of water in the side, that's all gonna mix in with some of these clumps you see, but there's no more dry clumps. So I'm gonna be able to work with this and I gotta get it on the wall. 
Alright, so the lighting is not perfect in here, but why not show you guys a little bit? You know, I might not even have enough water in here. Anyways, time to get taping. Let's do a couple at a time, why not? Where was that joint? There we are. Right in the middle. I could have mixed it even wetter, but that's okay. Right. Time is of the essence, so it doesn't have to be beautiful yet. Got some big lumps in there that I need to mix out. I can knock down the clumps after it sets, but I cannot tape with it when it sets, so I gotta move quick here. But anyways, that's taping with this stuff. Um, I better close out the video in a second. Gotta turn this off and finish. Oh, you guys, that was brutal. It set up in me in like 10 minutes. So I couldn't even tape it all. I had to just start, like, I had to run into this other spot and grab my 10 inch knife and just start like trying to smear the hardening mud onto those uh, patches the best I could to not just waste half the pan. That was brutal. So it just goes to show no matter how much experience you have, you never do know. So like either some clumps of quick set got into there and messed up the mix, like something happened that made it kick off way too fast. And last week I was having the opposite problem where this same bag of mud was taking about 40 minutes to set on the wall. I couldn't scrape it down and put my coat of all purpose on. So um, yeah, that's the nature of drywall. Uh, it's a temperamental beast. The same thing, I'll give you something different every day. So um, anyways, this video was only supposed to be about mixing drywall mud. Keep your tools clean. That's gonna be the best way to make sure that you don't get some nasty setting times with your mud. Anyways, I'm kind of babbling and losing my train of thought, mostly because I gotta mix up another batch, get in there, tape this thing, hopefully it doesn't set, um, and then carry on with the day. Because uh, yeah, my day just got longer because of these unpredictable set times. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. That is how you mix quick set in a pan. Nine times out of 10, this doesn't happen to me. It just happened because I decided to film it today. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and till the next video.